<clears throat> something happened this morning so we could get on the camels. Basically, my hip went and I knew that was a sign not to get on the camels. <coughs> so we've been walking for like an hour and just picking up heaps of rubbish um, and just watching how all the guides are on the mobiles. You know, no one's looking down. No one. No one is looking down at all. Um, they're in the four-wheel drives or in the quad bikes and they're just driving past this stuff and they're driving super close to the camels as well um and yeah like we actually we had to flag someone down and say can you take all this rubbish because i i, I didn't have any more hands um so yeah it's pretty pristine landscape once and now not so i mean maybe that's some of the education that we should be bringing to the tourism industry is how to how to how to be there co cohabit with you know these beautiful pristine environments and leave without a trace you know it was something that we always used to work very hard to do and now seemingly it's churn and burn like we got up this morning and we had breakfast and it was like right time to go it's like well what about like actually spending some time walking around the area and being in the desert not like because they have another group to come in so you know I'm super grateful for the chance that I didn't get to go on the camels because this morning I saw that they were tied up like I don't just mean tied up I mean their knees and their basically their front one of their front legs was bent up and tied up and I saw one this morning at sunrise limping, so I went to investigate, and yeah, I could see that they were all tied up. Oh my goodness. Anyway, so I think once I'd known the truth, I wasn't supposed to get on that camel this morning because once I got on it, it just didn't feel right. I was like, Sam, get me off. Like, I want to walk. So, yeah, we'd been walking for about an hour and a half and um, it's been, you know, pretty cool um, just to be walking in the desert, but also, like, just seeing the truth of the beer cans, the smashed glass, the the plastic. So what they do to tether the to tether the camels is they tie plastic bags full of sand into the sand um, and of course they just disintegrate so there's just like hundreds of plastic bags just sitting here in this beautiful desert um, and it's it's really really sad I have to say like uh, I did get a little bit shitty with the guides I was just like and here's something else I learned when I put it in the car you know the guy was just like, oh, people crazy, crazy, you know, it's everyone else's. If we keep having this stance that it's everyone else's problem, nothing is going to change. Nothing. Like, I remember seeing an intrepid tour once in Peru, and this woman had just basically, she'd taken it upon herself to go and clean up the, the mountains because they were just looking feral. And she educated all of her guides that work with her to pick up the litter on the way. And that one movement of picking up the litter, that one movement of actually getting down and doing it made everyone else do it as well. You see, once you are not scared to kind of see humanity's shadows and show other people at the same time, you may have some that don't do it because apparently, you know, it's above us all to pick up plastic bottles and plastic bags in pristine environments. But you will find those people that do resonate with your action. And that's why I always say, never underestimate that action. Never underestimate who's watching you do it. And it doesn't matter who's watching you do it. Just do it because that's the vibration and that's the energy that's left there. It's like, you know, do you guys not even care? Um, and I just think it's miseducation. You know, it really is like... If we're going to run tourism in pristine parts of the world that were once pristine, then there has to be some rules and regulations around it. There really does. Like, you know, governments step the fuck up for your environments because this is what brings tourists here and 
when you're walking around and you're picking up cigarette butts under the hooves of fucking camels. Like, come on. Like, if you're on the camels, you don't see this stuff because you're just looking at the sand dunes, which are actually now covered in quad bikes and bikes. But, like, when you're actually walking, you see it everywhere. And once you're... everywhere and once your third eye is open it can't be shut again um, and I'm really grateful that you know Sam's seeing things very differently now so yeah Salavi, be the change you want to see so the desert should be pretty silent right well we've been up since sunrise and all you can hear is quad bikes and cars. Have a look. Up here. See the city, man. See the city. This is a beetle. Hi Catherine. This sand is so difficult to describe. It's like, I don't know, it's like liquid almost. Like at night, it's so cold, it's like cold water. And it's so fine when you actually find a piece that's not covered in something else. It's like, yeah, really hard to walk in as well. I'm trying to walk up so, this dune right now. As if by magic, just walking up this dune here. <coughs> and uh, yeah, see this glittery thing in the sand. And I was like, oh, I wonder what surprise that is. A condom. A fucking condom wrapper. A foil lubricated whatever condom wrapper here in the pristine desert of the Sahara. So this is people sliding down here this morning. Right, I know this because I did it myself. But look, this is what I mean. This has clearly been here for a while. Look at it. It's faded. Look at this. Pretty amazing, hey? Some beautiful lady coming. Au milieu de désert. Toute seule. Pure dit dans, dans les sables. We're just back at the hotel now. And uh, yeah, that was my third um, collection of litter. And uh, I have to say, once I found the shade to sit under a tree, I stopped for like two hours and Sam and I just rested. It's <laughs> pretty freaking hot in the desert. But yeah, this is like the third collection. So now all I got to do is pray that, like I said, that vibration stays there and that someone else gives a shit. <laughs>